We love so much to be content though. We love so much to be that which we think we are. We love it. We love the comfort of it, the certainty of it. It has a lot of content. It feels like it has a lot of meaning to us. But the no content side, the side that's formless, that is also you. The nothingness is also you. What I'm about to tell you right now is going to challenge you. And that doesn't sound like new news, does it? Because if there's one thing that I always do is that I challenge you to be who you are. And that's what I'm doing in this video. I'm challenging you to look beyond your personality to who you actually are. Now, what does this actually mean, though? Because I can say, look beyond your personality, and then you look beyond it, and you build another personality. What I mean by this is, let go of certainty. Because your personality is certain. This is why you feel like it's so much you, because it's certainly you. And that certainty was created by you. That's what we're going to speak about today. We're going to go into how you are your personality and how you're not your personality. And that the moment you start to let go of certainty, you'll start to then find the new joy in not knowing, which is actually where you're going to find out who you actually are. Let me firstly tell you, you are your personality. And what that really means is you have created an image or you've been forced into something or you've reacted your way into something and you feel very comfortable with it. This is why I say you are your personality. Because even as you look at me right now, you're looking through the lens of your personality. If there's a part of you that feels challenged by what I say, you are your personality. If there's a part of you that doesn't want to let go and you feel like what I'm saying is full of shit, you are your personality. And this is not bad. The way that we grow up, we grow up believing that who we are is created. This is what we grow up believing. Information, people, leaders that we look up to or perceived leaders that we look up to all let us know that your personality is something that was created and it's you. And that gets us doing things really like being so interested in personality tests. That gets us so interested in when somebody goes you know this color is more like you. You're more of this color. We get so interested in, when in school they used to give us these things and they used to go, are you a person who is more of feeling or are you a person who's more of listening or are you a person who's more of touch? Like when they would do things like this, you'll start to think like, okay, that's me. I feel like that's, you know, that sounds like me. Maybe you saw information and the information showed you that this is you. Do you do this or do you do this? And then you go, I do that. And they go, well, you're this kind of person. And you go, ah, oh, I'm that kind of person, huh? You start to believe that who you are is, so to speak, already out there and you just need to find it. So that means that it's already created or it needs to be created. That's what it is. 
Then as you go through time, you start to feel comfortable with certain traits. Maybe one trait is you're a person who's very, very loving. Maybe this is the trait that you feel like you're very close to. Then, through your experience, you go, I'm a loving person. And the moment you say that, now you need evidence, I'm a loving person. You're around somebody, they start to be very rude to you, and you go, I'm a loving person, and I don't want to be around that person. Or I'm a loving person, so I'm going to treat it with love, or something like this. Or maybe you call yourself a person who is an introvert. Maybe you say, I'm an introverted person, or I'm a shy person. Let's get, forget about introvert. Let's say you say, I am a shy person. The moment you say, I'm a shy person, all the things that follow come with it. A shy person does what? A shy person, they are quiet. A shy person doesn't open up very easily. A shy person is not very expressive. A shy person is most of the times an introvert. You must live it out because it's who you are. And then when you go, oh, I am that person. The person that's quiet, the person who takes some time to open up because you start accepting it, because you start believing that it's you. Then, with the that's me, now you've found a personality that you're comfortable in. Or an image that you're, that you're comfortable in. So we can interchangeably use image and personality. Or whatever way it was created. It doesn't matter. You definitely are your personality right now. As you look at me right now, and I'm speaking to you, you're definitely your personality. Maybe you say you're someone who is shy. So what you do most of the time, you spend time alone. You don't like to be in big groups. These are the things that, people, that shy people say. Maybe you say you are a person who is motivated or ambitious. So every single time there's a situation where you need to, where you feel like you need to go beyond fear or anything like that, you have a very attacking attitude because you call yourself ambitious or you call yourself motivated. You're somebody who's willing to push yourself beyond your limits always. Like me, I used to call myself, I used to be like, I'm a very motivated person. I'm a person who is willing to go beyond their fear and I'm a person who's willing to attack things head on and I just kept going with this attitude because I felt like that was me. I remember I used to call myself someone who is a good person. This is one of the things I used to love calling myself, like someone who is a good person, someone who doesn't make others feel uncomfortable. I'm someone who is very loving, someone who's sweet, someone who people can just like really I'm someone like that then every single time I'll be in a situation where I feel like I'm not being likable or I'm not being someone who is sweet or loving or kind like that I would immediately try to do whatever I can to get back to it this is the crutch this is the downside not the crutch this is the downside of this is that when you feel like you're something, when there's a situation that challenges it, you will do whatever you can to stay consistent to it. I don't listen to Tony Robbins anymore, but he's very right that people want to stay consistent to what they say they are. He's very right with that. When you say, I'm this, or I'm this, or I'm nice, or I'm someone who is a good person, or I'm someone who it's loving or I'm someone who, even on the other side, am an asshole, I'm someone who's a, who's a prick or I don't let people walk all over me. Whatever it is you tell yourself, you'll start to live it out. 
and you'll have to maintain that. That's the downside. You have to maintain it. So any situation that challenges you, you will feel in that moment that you need to maintain it. Maintenance will come in. And what maintenance mean? You must keep it together. This person is being rude to me. There's a part of me that feels like I want to say something back, but I'm not that person. So I'll just let them be rude to me. I'm somebody who's not rude. I'm somebody who doesn't engage in activities like that or behaviors like that. And I'll just turn the other cheek or I'll walk away or I'll just ignore it. Maybe you're someone who says, I am a nice person or I'm a good person. And somebody asks you to do something for them, somebody close to you, and you feel in that moment, I don't want to do it, but you know what? I'm a good person. Now, you may, not, you may not logically go through this, but this will be your end result. This will be your end solution. Every single time the situation comes up where you don't want to do something, you will do it because you're a good person. That is the last filter. The first two may be, oh, I don't feel like doing this. This is something right now that feels, no, 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 no. This is something right now that feels very, very, like I don't want to do it, but you know what? I'm a good person, I'll do it. You must maintain being a good person, so you better not ever do anything to ruin that. You better not ever go into the light of being a bad person because then you will feel like, that's not me. I don't know if uh, he'll be watching this, but there's somebody right now who is potentially going to do coaching with me in, the mid, in mid June. And he was telling me about how he has this part of him that's very loving and kind. I don't know if you're watching this, but if you are, I'm using it as an example. This part of him that's very loving and kind and he's just like but i remember i was with this girl and as i'm with her i just start to feel like i just want to be rude like i just want to be rude because we i want to have sex with her and she didn't want to have sex and i know this is a video where i really don't talk about us, uh girls in this but this is a great example and then when she wouldn't do it the next morning he started being mean to her he's just like why was i doing that and I just told him, like, man, it's because you're avoiding the other side of yourself. You believe I am this, so of course you're going to avoid that other side. Of course you are, because that's not you. You are this. You're the loving and kind person. You're not that other person. You're this person. So of course you're going to have conflict internally. Of course he would have conflict internally. Of course he would. He said to himself, I am not that. He's repulsed by that, disgusted by it. He'll never ever go into those behaviors. Never will he. Because he's already said, this is me. He's already created his personality. He already feels comfortable in it. So he'll never leave it. Because the leaving the confident personality means going into not knowing who you are, which is one of the scariest things that a person can walk into. So I tell you, in the same way that I had to look at myself, I tell you that you are your personality. I had to look at myself and go, I am my personality. I am. I'm walking around in, this, in my actions and the way I look at people, the way I speak, this is all filtered through my personality, who I say I am. And a person may go, is it wrong to say that you're confident and then speak confidently? A person may say, but what about the good aspects though? What about the aspects like being clear? The aspects like being motivated? Because being motivated is not bad. He may say, what about confidence? What about being somebody that's, that's honest? And I say to him, you're going through the filter of those things, but you don't actually know what those things mean. In your mind, you have an image of what confidence means. In your mind, you have an image of what motivated me. In your mind, you have an image of what it means to be clear, an image of what it means to be anything else that you say that you want to be. You have an image of it. Because you don't know the truth of it, you have an image of it.
So yes, you can be those things, but you'll remain far away from yourself because you're going, I am that at a distance. The moment you say, I am that, you become the that. You're forgetting that you're the I am. You're not the that. But for now, let's go with it. You are the that right now. As you look at me, as I talk to you, you are the that. But something about this is that, like what I just said, it keeps you far away from yourself. It does. That what you actually are is not that what you think you are, that what you've created for yourself, that that you're comfortable with, that is not you. You're at a distance saying, that's me. So that brings me to the other side of, you are not your personality. You're not. As much as you say, I am that, you must also say, I am not that. You must also say that. In the same way where I can stand here in the middle like this and put this hand up and this hand up, I must be willing to say, I am this, but I must also be willing to say, I am, I am not that, but I am this. Because when you say, I am that and I am this, or I am this and I am that, you stand it from a middle ground. I'm in the middle saying that. When I say I am not that, I must also be willing to say, but I am that. I don't want to confuse you. Basically what I'm telling you right now is that you are not your personality and you also are your personality. The discovering needs to be, but I'm also not my personality. That's the new discovering. Because this no longer is discovering. This is the living right now. This is where you are right now. But for you to know who you really are, you must go to the other side of, I am not that. I am not my personality. I am not confident. I am not ambitious. I am not somebody that's motivated. I am not a loving person. You must go to the other side. Because when you go to the other side, you're going to start to notice that you can see the truth of this side. You'll go, that was never me. That was something that was created. And this is not me. So if you think about it, we have content and we have no content. You are also no content. We love so much to be content though. We love so much to be that which we think we are. We love it. We love the comfort of it, the certainty of it. It has a lot of content. It feels like it has a lot of meaning to us. It feels like it has so much meaning. It's so much content behind it. So much history. It feels close to us because it has so much history. But the no content side, the side that's formless, the side that's air, the side that has no boundaries, That is also you. The nothingness is also you. A long ago, I told somebody this on YouTube. I told someone this in the video. Well, actually, I told you probably too, if you were following me. I said, briefly, that you're not your personality and then I would move on. So I decided that now, I'm gonna make a video on it so you can know that you are not. I want you to know that you, you are no content. 
that who you think you are is meaningless. Who you feel you are right now, who, you, who has been created through time, I have to tell you right now that that is a pointless person because it's not you, it's pointless. Later on, could it be used in some way? Absolutely. It can be used in some way. But to let you know, the personality in itself that you've created, it has no value. It feels like you, but it has no value. You are much more than this. Much, much more. So much more. What does this mean now? This means the only way for you to really, really live as that which you are is for you to travel into uncertainty journey into uncertainty. This must become your new joy for life. When your new joy for life is uncertainty, you never know. Because with the personality, you want to know, or you feel like you know. But to go beyond your personality is to go into, I don't know. That's where the real joy is. The real joy is, is I don't know. Because now it's an exploration. There's a spontaneous quality to it there's an open quality to it. There's a hunger to discover quality to it. This is the path now. What's all too walked is the path of certainty. And I have to let you know, this is the greatest hindrance to your development of any sort, to your letting go in life. This is the greatest hindrance. Because the moment you become certain, it's the moment you become ignorant again. Certainty equals ignorance. Because the moment you say, I know this, you're attached to it. And you'll defend it. And you'll look like a fool defending it. Knowing is ignorance. Certainty is ignorance. And it's okay to be ignorant. It's okay to want to know. I'm not saying any of this is bad, but what I am saying is that it's okay for that. Simply, it is. But now you know that if you want to become certain, you want to become ignorant. Because even as we open up and we want to go live life in a different way, some point will come where you will crave or I will crave, all of us will crave certainty again. 
It is so difficult to be in life without a personality because you always are in the space of unknown, even within yourself. You never know. And with this never knowing, you know. There's a paradox to it. With this never knowing, you know. And what do you know? You know that you know, but you also know that you don't know. You allow every moment to be fresh. Every moment to be new. Because you're not holding on to the past moment. Because certainty means that you're holding on to the past moment. You're holding on to something you've learned in the past. And now you're gonna live through it with the lens of I'm certain about this. And the moment you become certain about something, it becomes a belief. Journey, journey, journey into uncertainty. Journey into it Whatever, without ever wanting certainty. This is the way you're going to be able to understand that which you are. Because when you remain uncertain, you yourself remain free of your own imprisonment. Certainty imprisons you. You remain free of your own imprisonment. The new joy in life is discovering the personality that you say you are right now, then going on the other side and discovering that you're not that. Because in that position, you're going to be able to really know and sit in the middle. As I leave you in this video, I give you the chance to now see more of yourself, to feel more of yourself, to be more of yourself. If you've made it this far, let me tell you that my London seminar tickets are available tomorrow at 6 p.m. London time. Only allow 20 guys to sign up. If you miss it, you will not be able to get in. You have to wait. And I'm also offering one-on-one -on -one coaching to someone who feel like they want to learn about themselves and in relation to women. So if you feel like you want to learn that, I'm so sorry that my website is not up. It'll be up when it's up. But if you want to know more about that, write me at TonySolo at TheEssenceOfMen.com. I'll put it down in the description box so you can be able to uh, copy and paste it. Share this with anybody who you feel would want to hear this because most people won't. But share this with somebody who you feel would want to hear this. Subscribe because this is the way you're going to be able to follow me. It's more important to be that which you are than tr to try to become that which you want. So never try, simply be. I'll talk to you in a few days.